Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at the BPS Knives Fin Light. Let's take a quick look at the blade real quick. And we will jump right into the review. Stay tuned. <laughs> So I've been a big fan of BPS knives and all the different ones I have reviewed. This one's kind of neat because of its small profile. I've got large size hands, I wear large size gloves, and the knife is basically the size of my hand. So pretty small, but we're gonna try out some paracord. Do a double loop if we can manage it. Look at that, yeah, pretty simple, pretty easy. We're gonna move on to some hemp rope and then try some other testing. We're gonna try out some hemp rope. Now, this blade does utilize BPS knives, 1066 high carbon, uh, I believe it's a stainless steel. I could be mistaken. But I believe these are some birch wood handles on here. Might just be some unfinished uh, oak or walnut. You do have a nice lanyard loop, but let's get into the view itself. A Little bit of pressure needed to be applied. Again, this is a smaller profile knife, so that is to be expected. Try that once more. Awesome. You can see clean cut, blade is holding up well. You can see there's not any deformation yet. These, all these BPS knives come out of the box, razor sharp. Definitely no issues with this one yet. Moving on. Okay, folks, moving on. Let's talk a little bit about this sheath. So this is a pretty interesting design. I kind of like the way they went with this. Uh, as you can see, there's no belt loop or uh, dangler on this guy. You can kind of just stick it in your belt and let it go or something that i think would be kind of interesting to do is uh have a carabiner a little bit of paracord and you can just have that dangling on you if you want now there is a decent bit of retention you can see the bps knives logo uh you do have full grain leather it doesn't look like double stitching and there's just a slight maybe not even a drainage hole up there but overall not too terrible i think it's a cool little blade something to keep in your pack Especially if you have guests coming camping with you, you can pass this out so they can chop up some kindling or whatever. But, uh, yeah, let's try some piercing. Very, very slicey, which is good. This is, it's kind of humid out here, so this is some damp cardboard, which is not always the best to cut. But, as you can see, it does its job fairly well. Not too bad. Let's move on. Now, I am in the midst of a, looks to be... An oak, sycamore, and honeysuckle bush, or thicket. So what we're going to do is take a piece of this honeysuckle and just make a basic spear point. Just resting my thumb up here. No jimping, nothing crazy. You do have that little guard right there to keep you from hitting the blade. But honestly, even with large size hands, I'm able to get a pretty good purchase on this guy. And now this is some pretty soft wood. Honeysuckle is like kind of, yeah, I don't believe, it might be invasive, I'm not sure, but it's more of just like a pest. Um, grows anywhere from like three to six feet tall. But yeah, definitely have a good little tent peg there. Or if you forgot your pen at home, you can uh, light this on fire for a little bit till it's black and you have a charcoal pencil. Pretty neat. Let's move on. So this is a newer offering from BPS Knives. Comes in right around the $20, $30 price point. I believe around like $22, $25 is what I paid for this guy. Uh, overall, I'm pretty impressed. I think for the price, you can't beat it. You're not gonna get anything American made near that price point for this level of performance. Uh, I am a fan of that handle. You can definitely do some work and something that's really cool is they do have those hex bolts in there. So if you wanna play around with your own woodworking and making your own handle skills, please go ahead. That's something great that uh, BPS knives. And you can do some cool different finishes on these blades. They're kind of unfinished, uh, the 1066 high carbon. Uh, the Rockwell is like between 55 and 58. I could be messed up, but I think it's somewhere in there. So definitely softer steel, but it definitely gets the job done. Again, made in Ukraine. So if you do order these, I take a little bit to get there, but not too terrible scandy grind on this as most of the uh, bps offerings are but yeah overall not too bad so overall i think this is a pretty good knife for the money if you're just getting into the outdoors or you want something that's like a belt knife but kind of not really uh this is a great option i'm a big fan of how this sheath can just slip into your belt or into your bag have it as an extra blade or if you're just going on like an afternoon uh backpacking and you don't really want to carry a big 
bulky knife around, I think this can definitely uh, be a good option. I will say when the sheath comes, it is flat, so you kind of have to maybe wet form it a little bit to get that blade in there without nicking the edges. A full grain leather though, it's gonna hold up for the rest of your life. Um, 1066, apologize, the, uh, the uh, crop dusters overhead wanna say hello. But uh, you take care of this knife, it's gonna last a lifetime. Uh, for what you pay with BPS, you definitely do get a pretty good thing. I will say, uh, if you have a little bit bigger hands than me, it's probably not gonna fit. This is probably the biggest size hands that this would fit comfortably. Uh, the blade's around three inch mark, it does taper. Seems to be a 90 degree spine. I don't have a flint and steel on me, but we can definitely try that out another time. But uh, if not, you can just sand down the edges, get a 90 degree spine on there. Do I think this knife is worth it? Yeah, definitely. I think if this is uh, filling the niche niche that uh, you want in a uh, fixed blade, definitely go for it. Um, I think they do some great work and supports an awesome company that's bringing a lot of really cool camping, adventuring, and outdoor uh, tools to the market. So yeah, 25, 30 bucks, not too bad. You will have to pay shipping on there, I think, unless they run a special, get free shipping on that. But yeah, overall, I would highly recommend this knife. I think it's a cool little addition, if anything else. Um, definitely give it to your kids, a great gift item. Probably not, I would honestly probably uh, give this on this like the same level of a Mora companion. If I'm gifting it to someone, I give out Moras to all my friends uh, if they're going camping or on a trip or wherever, because I just think they're useful. But yeah, that's the blade. Thank you guys for watching. If you uh, wanna see more content like this, please be sure to smash the subscribe button, like, share, and comment. Helps promote the channel and the algorithms, and I would greatly appreciate it. Thank you.